Well, hello. Shit just got real yesterday. So, um, I've had a, a good night's sleep and hopefully the cards will make a little more sense than they did last night. Um, I think probably every tarot reader knows that when you are really emotional, you're really peaking, um, the cards make no sense. So, um, usually a good idea just to put them up and get a good night's sleep. So I've, uh, I can't say I had a good night's sleep, but <laughs> I had sleep. Um, you know, in a shower and a cup of coffee and a meditation session. And I think I'm probably ah, ready to pull some cards. Um, using the Light Sears Tarot today. And uh, we've got a couple of things that are going on, of course, things in Ukraine and also this, this matter with the Manhattan DA's office, uh, or the Manhattan DA himself, Alvin Bragg. Um, wanted to do some, uh, just get a sense of what's going on here. I decided that I'm going to break it up into two videos, both of which will be published today. Um, and probably won't have as much of the uh, editing time put into them as what I normally uh, put together because the editing process takes quite a while. So the first one that I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on the Manhattan DA. Now the story on that, of course, yesterday is that two of the two lead prosecutors on the case against Donald Trump and Trump Org, um, they've resigned. They've just walked away. Now, the grand jury that had been in Panama until the end of April actually hasn't interviewed any witnesses in the past four weeks, um, which means that basically things were uh, halted very soon after Alvin Bragg went into office on January the 1st. I don't have any sense of what Mr. Bragg is like. I don't know him. Manhattan is one of those kind of, or the Manhattan DA's office is kind of one of those weird critters um, in that it's a local office, but it has it national and internationally import to it. So um, I thought a good place to start was to just pull the cards on the energy around Mr. Bragg and we'll see what we come up with and just take a moment cut the cards and first card in the reading is the king of cups and this is the subject of the reading and this is uh emotionally mature um man who makes a compassionate and wise decisions um The card that's crossing it is Eight of Wands. And this is about circumstances kind of coming out of uh, very quickly, very quickly, hard to keep up with what's going on. So here we have an individual who is under considerable pressure. And what the subject uh, thinks about it, conscious thoughts, is the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is about new relationships and new um, joinings together. And it's often interpreted as marriage, romance, uh, sexual partners, birth of a child. But it really is about any kind of deep and meaningful relationship. Now, um, this man just come into a new job starting the 1st of um, January and no matter how prepared you think you are to take on that kind of uh, high-profile heavy-hitting position uh, what you think about it and what you get can be two different worlds altogether he also has to have uh, to build new relationships with uh, prosecutors that are in that office and Always the internal politics of any job can be pretty overwhelming. 
Now, what we have in unconscious thoughts, well, that's not pretty good. That's the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords is about a uh, sense of finality, the end, um, it's over, finito. Um, so this is a, be a very defeatist, um, can't win, can't go anywhere kind of an attitude. Or really not the attitude I want to see in the district attorney of anywhere, let alone uh, in the Trump case. In the near past position, we have, well, this is no surprise, the Nine of Swords, anxiety, sleeplessness, troubled thoughts, troubled dreams. And in the near future position, we have the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is about uh, victory and uh, the integration of a victorious moment and victorious actions. Whose victory are we talking about here? And uh, we'll see what the rest of the poll comes, but you know, that's a candidate for qualifying <laughs> cards. How the subject sees the situation, and that is the Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands is really interesting. It's a fast-moving energy. Um, it can sometimes be, I mean, it's noted for making courageous decisions, right? And uh, aligning values with actions. But it can also be very um, impetuous kind of energy. And it is, um, oh, well, I call him Mr. Act Now, Think Later. Right, it's that kind of movement and the action of something, and we will deal with the consequences later as they they play out. And in how the environment sees the situation, or how others see it, um, we have the Eight of Swords, and the Eight of Swords, of course, is about self-imposed imprisonment. This is you know when you're your own worst enemy. Um, Interesting card to pull in this kind of a reading. How others see it is that he's created this own problem, that is, he's uh, imposed his own prison and that what he needs to do is drop his blindfold and then he can see his way out of the situation. Um, hopes and fears position is, of course, the next one. And that is strength. And I guess this is probably everybody's hope that he has the strength to um, come through what needs to be done here. And um, yeah, I hope so. I really do. I mean, I just find it kind of unfathomable that two highly experienced legal specialists in uh, white collar crime all of a sudden don't know how to mount a case it doesn't make a lot of sense it doesn't make a lot of sense that this far in 15 years of records congressional testimony by Michael Cohen former insider and they can't make a case and the final card in this reading is the chariot. And the chariot is usually a, a card that's about, yeah, you know, I'll give that a try. Um, but it's really, it's usually very um, positive energy and it's um, courageous energy. And uh, it's also very disciplined energy that um, it's the self-discipline of the charioteer that keeps everything on track. Of course, the, the two uh, steeds or sphinxes or whatever that are pulling the chariot are actually pointed in different directions. And the charioteer has no reins, so it is his mental discipline that pulls things together. You know, it's usually a sign of encouragement so, you know, that's a bit of a positive that comes from this as a final outcome from this reading. Uh, it's definitely a yes card, um, but I'm not quite sure how this figures in. Um, 
perhaps this is just a change in direction in uh, the investigation and um, he has decided to move in a, a different direction and hasn't actually given up. I mean, I like to make the point that at this time, the DA's office has not made any kind of announcement that they're dropping uh, the case, right? But obviously there has been some kind of um, clash between the two lead prosecutors and the new DEA. Now, I want to take a moment and I want to clarify that uh, victory card that came up in the new, um, in the futures position, right? Near future position. Whose victory is that? Um, in order to give us a little bit of clarity on that and to see whose victory are we talking about? Is that the DA's office? Um, or is it the subject of the investigation, which would be Trump Co. and Donald Trump? Now, uh, the first card that we have on this is the Three of Pentacles. And this is about teamwork. It's about building things. It's about uh, collaboration and getting things together. Um, temperance is the middle card that we're pulling on this three card clarification. And temperance is about, you know, the blending and the balancing, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, uh, the moving back and forth of things. And quite frankly, an attitude that you want to have in any kind of prosecutor in, uh, you know, Western civilization. We expect our prosecutors uh, to be absolutely fair. I mean, we have principles in law that the burden of proof is upon the prosecution. And the final card in this clarification is the King of Pentacles, which has always uh, been my card and many readers card for Donald Trump. Whose victory is it? It's Donald Trump. He's going to get away with 15 years tax evasion and fraud. Glenn Kushner last night, I watched him and he was talking about, you know, how we have to keep the faith and justice matters. Well, I think the events are belying it right now. A rich man is about to get away with all kinds of stuff. And they have got a bucket load of evidence. And for some reason, the district attorney in Manhattan has punted. I'm not gonna go into the possible reasons why. I don't think that's appropriate at this stage of the game. And I'm gonna sign off there. For those of you who are looking for a reading on the Ukraine, I'm gonna film that next. So I will talk to you later and uh, see you shortly. Bye-bye.